hello my wonderful friends welcome back to my channel as you ever made a large batch of jollof rice i'll be showing you how i do mine very soon the first thing i do is to roast all my peppers my tomatoes my onions my garlic and i'll be pouring some oil over the garlic you can pour some oil all over everything so guys after roasting it don't worry you're going to see how it is but i just want to skip some steps what I have now is some cooking oil, I'll be adding some onions and I'll just cook this for like 2 minutes until when it is less crunchy and it is caramelized. You, cannot, you can decide to leave it if you don't like yours like that. Don't worry, we're going to be adding more onions at the end of the rice so it's totally fine. Of course, you need some tomato paste when you're cooking jollof rice. I almost do not do without this. And the secret to cooking jollof rice and making it smoky is when you cook this and it fries very well. So guys, you can see that my pepper is well roasted and I have blended it. No need for water or anything. Everything I wanted, I blended it like so. And after my tomato paste had like fried very well, I added my peppers that I had blended to it. I covered it for like 8 minutes and I allowed it fry well again. So now I have my rice that I have washed. Like I said, this is not a special jollof rice recipe. This is just how I cook like a very big pot of jollof rice. The videos are actually not doing justice to it because it was a very large pot. I had all my seasoning and my meat water. Don't worry about how the meat water looks. It was frozen and i was in a hurry i couldn't save it or anything and i just used it like so so i just usually mix everything and i'll make sure that it is well saturated so that everything covers it up completely before i go ahead to add more water please note that you don't need a lot of water when you're cooking jollof rice really is the steam and you can't escape it being burnt trust me you can almost not escape jollof rice getting burnt it has to burn when it burns it will give you that smoky feel and you have to trap the steam and the heat with your fall so that it is well roasted well burnt yeah so you can see that we're adding more um onions to it we're adding more butter as well for extra moisture that butter you need it but some people don't do with butter but for me it's almost a given i like to add butter anytime i'm cooking my jollof rice i like the taste i like the extra moisture it gives so this is like 90 percent cooked when i added the butter and the onions and i'll allow it steam again as it is don't add water i know you might be tempted to add water it might still look strong but just make sure that the steam is still okay. At this point, I just like reduce the heat of my stove and I will allow it to cook through. And at this point, it was completely cooked. By the time you fluff it again, you toss it here and there, you can see that there's a lot of difference. With me not adding water, the steam will just cook it. And I like when I still have like some onions that is still crunchy. The onions we added that time. Is still there so guys this is the usual way I make my a big pot of jollof rice is the same thing it's just that you just have to be extra careful note that you don't add too much water jollof rice needs just a little bit of water by the time you add your meat water your meat stock and a little bit of water it is ready you like it when your jollof rice comes out one one rather than when it is soggy from the beginning because with this you know that most times you go back to warming it back and forth and you can't afford to have it soggy from the beginning so this is our big pot of jollof rice i hope you learned something from this and we are going to add some chicken add any protein of your choice you can add some sauteed vegetables if you wish i love having this with jollof rice if i'm not having it with, with plantain or with moe moe or anything like that thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to come back for more i hope to see you in my other videos stay beautiful bye